the difference between pre-diabetes and true diabetes is just whether or not the blood sugars have started being affected by the insulin resistance that we see. So you can have evidence um, that you have some insulin resistance and that your pancreas may be not working adequately, but until the blood sugars actually are affected, that's when we actually label it type 2 diabetes. The treatment is very similar between pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes because we're still trying to accomplish the same thing. We're just, we're just trying to prevent the person from actually developing the disease. About 90% of diabetes is type 2. And type 2 diabetes is definitely genetic, but it's also you know, prompted with the obesity and our lifestyles you know, that we're living, which are you know, really high fat diets and um, high sugar diets and no exercise. It's the same symptoms for, for type 1 and type 2. You can see um, increased thirst, increased urination. Um, you can actually see weight loss. And once you're labeled with type 2, and it makes it really hard to reverse the condition. Lifestyle changes. Um, you know, diet, exercise, medications. Um, we can control type 2 diabetes, but it's not truly reversible. So in our office, um, we do a lot with obesity. Um, we have a dietitian um, in our office who meets with a lot of our patients who are pre-diabetic. Type 2 diabetes um, in the past has been an adult age diagnosis. Um, however, over the last, I'd say, five to 10 years, we have seen a huge increase in type 2 diabetes in children. If we start young, you know, making good diet choices and keeping them you know, outside and exercising like children should be, um, then there are a lot of things that we, you know, that we can prevent.